processing of equipments and instruments for decontamination and sterilization. Learning Objective To build capacity of the participants to process the used items and instruments for decontamination, cleaning, sterilizations and storage. This video will also show the different methods or procedures of sterilization. Wear utility gloves and plastic apron. Take 1 liter water in a plastic bucket. Take 20 to 30 milliliters of water from 1 liter measured water. Take 3 level teaspoon of bleaching powder. Stir well and make a thick and smooth solution in a plastic mug using water from the bucket. Mix this paste in the remaining water in the bucket to make the liquid bleach. Wherever hypochlorite solution containing about 5% by weight of sodium hypochlorite is available, use one part of hypochlorite solution in nine parts of water to prepare 0.5% chlorine solution. Take a can of hypochlorite solution. Pour the hypochlorite solution in a plastic mug. Then, pour that hypochlorite solution in a plastic bucket. And add 9 mugs of water. Take care to maintain the same ratio for larger volumes. Always make fresh chlorine solution in each shift. The container with chlorine solution should be preferably kept covered. A delivery has just taken place in the labor room. Now, after the mother and neonate have been rendered the desired services and they have been taken care of, then immediately, we need to decontaminate and clean the equipment so that sterilized equipment are available for the next procedure. Now, we will show processing of instruments. Labor room cleaning staff puts the used instruments in the freshly prepared 0.5% chlorine solution. Then, she removes the gloves and puts them in the same chlorine solution, keeps them for 10 minutes. The cleaning staff picks up the soaked instruments from the chlorine solution tub and puts them in another container filled with water. This process is called decontamination, which makes the used items safe for further processing. Cleaning She scrubs the instrument using a brush and a detergent. Scrub the instruments in a container filled with water for avoiding splashing. Rinses them thoroughly in another bucket of fresh water to remove all detergent and then air dry. Detergent is important for effective cleaning because water alone will not remove protein, oils and grease. Do not use hand soap for cleaning instruments and other items as fatty acids in soap will react with the minerals of hard water leaving behind a residue that is difficult to remove. Detergents also remove blood, meconium and other body fluids. All the linen will be sent to laundry after decontamination. Equipment, surgical gown and drapes are to be sterilized. Sterilization ensures that items are free of all microorganisms that is bacteria, viruses, fungi and parasites including endospores. 
Sterilization kills all microorganisms and is therefore recommended for items such as surgical instruments that come in contact with the blood or tissues under the skin. There are three methods of sterilization. Steam sterilization by autoclave. Dry heat sterilization, that is electric oven. Chemical, that is cold sterilization. When autoclave is not available, high level disinfection, that is HLD, is the only acceptable alternative. Here in this video, we will explain autoclaving and chemical sterilization. Parts of autoclave. Geared stream gauge. Excess pressure relief valve. Top handle. Control valve. Air exhaust tube. Process for keeping wrapped and unwrapped items inside the autoclave. Surgical equipments and drapes are to be put into the adequate sized tray. Keep the indicator strip and wrap it. Seal it with adhesive tape after putting date and signature. For the dressings, pads, cotton swabs and other loose instruments etc. are to be kept in a labelled surgical drum having holes in the side and close the lid. Put indicator strip over the drum. Place the items in autoclave loosely. Then. Close the lid and put the autoclave on the stove or use the electric autoclave. This allows adequate permeation of steam inside the autoclave. Note the timing when the steam emits from the pressure valve. Keep the wrapped items for 30 minutes and unwrapped items for 20 minutes at 15 pounds per square inch at 121 degrees centigrade, that is 106 kilopascal. Allow autoclave to cool for 30 minutes before opening. Chemical sterilization. An alternative to high pressure steam or dry heat sterilization is chemical sterilization, often called cold sterilization. If objects need to be sterilized but high pressure steam or dry heat sterilization would damage them, then they can be chemically sterilized. For high level disinfection, the instruments are soaked for 20 minutes. While for sterilization, prolonged exposure for a minimum of 10 hours is needed. Remove the equipment with a sterile chittel for SEP and rinse with sterile water. HLD eliminates bacteria, viruses, fungi and parasites but does not kill all endospores which cause diseases, for example, those causing tetanus and gas gangrene. Boiling for 20 minutes is another method for HLD. Keep instruments in the boiling water for 20 minutes after the water starts boiling. Please ensure Instruments should be completely immersed in water. Lid of boiler should remain closed throughout these 20 minutes. Do not remove or add instruments or water during this period. 
storage. Sterilized items should be properly stored immediately after processing so that they do not become contaminated. Covered sterile instruments should be used within seven days of sterilization. Once the drum is opened, the instruments must be used within 24 hours. Infection prevention Decontamination Soak in 0.5% chlorine solution for 10 minutes. Thoroughly wash and rinse. Wear gloves and other protective barriers like glasses, visors or goggles. Preferred methods Acceptable methods Preferred methods Sterilization Chemical Soak for 10 to 24 hours Autoclave 106 kilopascal pressure That is 15 pounds per square inch 121 degrees centigrade That is 250 degrees Fahrenheit 20 minutes for unwrapped 30 minutes for wrapped Dry heat 170 degrees for 60 minutes Acceptable methods High level disinfection that is HLD Boil or steam Lid on for 20 minutes Chemical Soak for 20 minutes After cooling Use immediately or store Key points Prepare 0.5% chlorine solution every day in a plastic bucket with lid for decontaminating items used in patient care. Keep the items that cannot be autoclaved like scissors, MVA kit in a tray containing 2% clutaraldehyde solution for 20 minutes for high level disinfection and for 10 hours for chemical sterilization. Use properly autoclaved instruments and gauze, cotton, etc. for every case.